Hello. Hello back there. <laughs> I've got an enormous parcel here from Sendico. This is 1,500 pounds worth of goods from Sendico from Yahoo Auctions. Sendico is a proxy service that allows people anywhere in the world to buy stuff from Yahoo Auctions and other Japanese exclusive sites. It's very good. Uh, without it, we wouldn't be able to do that at all. So it's very awesome. They translate the whole website for you. Go and check out Sendico. This video is not sponsored, but I do get uh, affiliate money from each purchase that you guys make. And that helps support the channel because it allows me to buy stuff like this. So very exciting. Without any further waffle, let's open it up. Oh man, there's something in here that I'll be making a video on immediately after this, uh, which I have been after for a very long time. This was actually one of the Game Boys that really got me into wanting to collect Game Boys. I remember seeing a video about it on YouTube. That video was like a thing where I was like, I one day would love one of those. And then I waited too long. And now they're probably about 10 times the price that that person bought it for. It's so hard to open these boxes because they're so well wrapped. Look at that. I mean, they know that collectors are buying this stuff. Right, there it is. That's the thing. That is the thing. We've got another thing here. We've got another thing here. We've got another thing here. We've got a thing here. We've got another thing here. We've got another thing here. And that is all the things. We'll save this one, I think, till the end, because I'm very excited about that. But we have three very, very good parcels here to open. So the first one, this one is a little bit of a, an odd one. I think I'll probably just make a little second channel video about it um, down the line. But I've seen quite a few of these on Sendico. It seems to be some sort of Pokemon thing, but it's in a Game Boy shell looking thing. And I don't know, it just looks really cool. I'm not totally sure what it does, um, but I'm sure We'll figure it out. There's some little Pokemon up here and stuff. Right, now this is actually a very exciting item as well. Now remember, I've paid £1,400 for all of this, so I'm not exactly sure on the individual prices. So this is a Nintendo 3DS Panda development unit. Now obviously I've got one of these, but it's in really, really good condition. I'm always really afraid to use it. Um, but this one, I wonder if it has any software on here, any hidden software, any prototype games. It's not got any batteries, so we can't test that now, but it looks in nice condition, but a little bit more beaten up. So very excited about that. We'll take a look at that in a main channel video down the line. This is a little thing that I saw that I just had to pick up. I don't think it's that old, um, but I really just wanted it because I will put it on something, a nice denim jacket or something like that. This is just a, uh, a badge, like a little uh, sew on badge thing but it actually comes from America, I think. Well, it says $2.99 on there. Um, but yeah, I just really liked it. A little yellow badge. Um, I'll put that somewhere. Now this, this is very exciting, okay? This is a Game Boy Light, a Pokemon edition Game Boy Light. I've been after one of these for a long time. They're astronomically expensive now because obviously it's a Game Boy Light, which is rare, and it's a Pokemon one, which is also gonna be very rare. It's not in the best condition, but it does look like it will clean up quite well. What is that marks on there? Oh no, they look like scratches actually. But yeah, they're quite rare and it comes with the battery cover uh, and that is a Pikachu Pokemon Center Game Boy Light. But what is going on with that? Is that a sticker residue? Okay, two very good things and a little badge. Right, next up, this is something that I've seen loads on Sendico. They just seem to be an abundance of them. This is a fake sort of Game Boy thing, a game computer colors. <laughs> it's just a Japanese fake knockoff thing. I've actually got a couple of um, devices like this. I'm saving up all of them and I'll make one big video because they're probably not going to be that great. I mean, look at the size of the box compared to the size of the thing. Why is it so big? What does it play? Who knows? It runs off of three AAA batteries. It looks really cute regardless. Um, so there'll definitely be a, a video showcasing this at some point, I'm sure. Right, next up. This one is not for me. This is for my good friend Stuart. Um, this is a Marble Run thing, a Super Mario Marble Run. I've ordered him a few, so that you'll see them eventually on his channel, I'm sure. Uh, this one's a completely different one. Really cool, a little bit more modern. Uh, that's obviously a later, um, an earlier, sorry, no, later, earlier? That's a newer Super Mario design. Um, but yeah, it's still really cool, I'm sure. He'll uh, showcase this on his channel. I don't know what date it is. It doesn't say on the back here. Now this next thing is, I think this 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 definitely deserves its own main channel video. Um, I'm not gonna look too much at it because I really wanna save it for the main channel. 
But this is something that I paid a lot of money for. This was about $500, I think. Uh, and I've never seen one of these before. I don't think the internet has really seen one of these before. This right here is a store display for, for retail like stores, Nintendo Switch Lite. Okay, so look at that. So there is, this is made out of solid metal. Um, in fact, no, this, this bracket at the back is made out of metal. This front piece is made out of plastic. You've got a little uh, sort of holder thing for it there, and then it just sits on there like that. I'm not gonna take any more of it out because I am gonna save it for the video. That is a presumably a sort of a clamp thing to clamp it onto a shelf, which I will certainly do at some point. That is a store display, not for resale, Nintendo Switch Lite. Very cool, very expensive. I'm incredibly excited about it. This is the thing that I have been after for an incredibly long time, okay? There is only 5,000 of these made. Only 5,000 of them made. And this is number 52. Number 52 of 5,000. It's just unbelievable. Here we go. I honestly, I do not have the words right now. This is this is like my holy grail of Game Boys. This was very expensive. This was the most expensive thing of all of all of this stuff. Um, okay, it has come with some games. I didn't really even see those. Right here we go. Oh my goodness me! Get those games out of the way right now. Pokemon Green, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. It is absolutely stunning. It is my holy grail of Game Boys. It's absolutely stunning. Holy crap. Honestly, I'm f just freaking out. Ah! 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 ah. That's not good. Absolutely unreal. And it's number 52 of 5,000. Holy crap. Okay, and then here is the actual Game Boy Light itself. Just look at that. That is just so stunning. <laughs> oh my days. I have wanted one of these for so long. One of my first ever Game Boy mods was a Game Boy Pocket that I put white buttons in and a white lens on and a backlight in. Look at that. That is that is a haul. That is a haul of Game Boys right there. <sighs> Freaking out. Okay, I'm going to look into the history of this Game Boy and everything, and I'm going to amalgamate a little video for you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to unbox these things. Absolutely unbelievable. I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.